friendship that, that you build with other people of other ethnicity uh, in the tennis court, you know, they, they last for many years. Um, there's a, a huge Asian tennis population in St. Paul, and it's, a, it's definitely a booming sport in the Asian community, and particularly the Hmong community. You know, I, I myself uh, teach Asian studies. We, the priority goes to academics, and right now they're starting to see the benefits of sports and what it does. The skills that you learn in tennis court, they translate really well to things outside of the tennis court. I grew up, I actually grew up playing soccer, and just one of those random things during spring, and instead of running track, I wanted to try something new. So I found a couple pairs of rackets in the, in the closet and went out and learned the game, and you know, I've been hooked since then. Work hard. You do work hard. What's your favorite? What's your favorite game that we play? Ooh, shot games. What do you learn while you're playing tennis? <laughs> uh, the bat him. I thought it was cool and I tried out. And it was awesome. Cool. Why do you think other kids should play tennis? Cause it's competitive and you can have fun while being competitive. A lot of them are be um, beginners and some of them are returners, but some of the beginners that I saw really improve a lot. Um, they can, they can serve, they can volley, like when I first saw them, they can't even hit a ball. Like, I guess what really surprised me, I have kids that are like sixth graders now, it's like, it's challenging to beat them when we're playing with an orange ball or a green ball. It's pretty challenging, so it's been really competitive with the coaches and with the younger kids. It's been really fun. I have over a hundred kids, boys and girls, that are in the program. Most of them are of uh, free and reduced lunch and of Asian descent actually, and their families. Now their families, are, their relatives, their friends are involved and that's a big huge movement even in the Asian community on the east side. We have a huge Asian population on the east side. You know, their relatives, their kids, their cousins, their little brothers and sisters are part of it. So it's, a, it's definitely a family deal and it's a, it's a community deal right now. Yeah, I just like how it's like just open to anyone, even though sometimes when we can't afford it, then they, they don't really look at how much you can pay. It makes me feel really good if I meet a lot of friends. It's fun. There's a lot of people and and you can make new friends there. You don't have to be really tall, you don't have to be really strong. Uh, it's a sport that basically, you know, anybody can go out there and if you just have a, uh, a little bit of will and a little hard work, you can be successful at it. And that's the model of, I guess, most uh, of everybody is to, if you work hard, you'll be good at, at tennis or whatever you do. How you act on the court, how you act off the court. Yeah, they always help each other out. It's like a giant family. Um, one of them fell off his bike, I think you saw him. Um, and none of them wanted to come play tennis because they wanted to check on their friend. And just their ability level, even with the younger ones. Uh, the kids get better and uh, have, have more fun with learning how to play tennis. Uh, growing up, I was pretty shy and I like that I can be on the court by myself. But at the same time, I can also be with a team. And you know, you have your alone time, you have your time to be the team, and so that really felt uh, uh, matches well with my personality, and uh, I, I think a lot of kids can relate to that as well, particularly the, uh, the Hmong kids in the, uh, in the Twin Cities area. You know, before the two communities were kind of separate. It's almost a 50-50 of Karen students and Kareni students. Both ethnic groups are refugees from Burma. Um, a lot of them came from Thailand. Some of the younger ones were actually born here. Yeah, we're pretty lucky. A lot of the kids live right across the street. And so this is our third year at this site, and we've had the kids every single year they come back. They look for us, they know when we're going to be here, and they all come back every year. And it's really fun because then they bring their little brothers and sisters, and great. there's been a great improvement. Uh, just want to play. Why do you want to play? For fun. I think it's absolutely important for the Asian community to get involved in tennis because uh, tennis is a, a lifetime sport and uh, you not only learn life skills that in the tennis court, you know, the, the skills that you learn in tennis court, they translate really well to, you know, uh, things outside of the tennis court. I'm just excited about this boom in tennis in, in, the, in the Hmong community and in the Asian community in general and excited about uh, thinking about different ways in which we can make some of these opportunities um, with the USTA available for some of these kids to continue to pursue tennis, not just in playing, but these different roles and different opportunities that the path of the tennis field has to offer. They love it and they're good and they have fun.